This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to a quick little repot. I have been waiting so long, so long to repot this plant. I've waited for the right time and I've waited for one of my products to come out. So today is that day. I'm finally gonna repot it. I think I might let it acclimate here and then take it to my house because I'm in love with this plant, guys. What is it? This is Homolamina rubescens variegated. I think that's all it is. It's a bit weird, right? If I could liken the variegation to something, it's kind of like a philodendron strawberry shake, right? It can be pinky, it can be white, it can be cream, it can be peachy. It's a really weird mix. I've had I've had phases where this has been really, really pink and you can see it on my Instagram. It's going through more of a peachy phase now and then the new leaves are a bit more peachy looking. Very, very interesting plant. I've cut this many times. I've tried to sell bits of it. I've tried to propagate it. It's let me down every time. It reverts. I've basically learned, guys, if I leave it alone, she's fine. She does this for me. So I'm not going to do anything with her. This is basically basically just going to become my personal plant. I gave up with her, but I really like her. So today we're going to repot her. Not into this, I'm just doing this because she's in a normal red plant shop pot and she's a bit drippy. I'm going to repot her into a bog standard l hole white pot and then I'm going to put some top dressing on which if I can reach around my table. We're going to put a little bit of this on top. Hopefully you can see it. This is Nurture System number seven Decker. Link is in the description. But we're going to put that on top at the end just to zhuzh it up. I think it's going to look very pretty. I wish I had a pink pot, and I know that's a pink pot, but I need self-watering, guys. For my house, it's really important I have self-watering. So unfortunately, the pot is going to have to be white, but if Elho do a pink pot, maybe I could switch. I don't know. I want to see how far I get with white pots. But anyway, let's just move this to the side, and we will get cracking. Also, hopefully you can see it. Sorry, I'm knocking everything, but my merch that I'm wearing now is in the description. Linked. Very awesome. I have other designs as well. I have black and white, though versions of these designs as well guys if you don't happen to like color some people don't um but yeah anyway let me get my gloves on i am very i'm very all over the place this week very all over the place i did a uh, southport flower show at the weekend just gone it's like a week ago for now for you seeing this and honestly it was really long days it was like from early in the morning till like six seven o'clock at night it was it was a long slog and it was about five days worth off the trot and i still haven't quite come back down to earth so i'm catching up on loads of work so i do just have a repot for you today i do apologize i think once the the season is over this year and we get more into like october and stuff like that you will get some different content i just i really can't do it right now guys i hope you appreciate that and i know a lot of you are fine with that so anyway first thing we're gonna do today is get her out of this and have a little look at her roots hopefully she's fine she looks like she's got some nice roots in there but you, you just don't know these things you just don't know these things so i'm just gonna tip it out into a bucket off camera oh god it won't come out oh no oh no this is wedged <laughs> right okay that, that's me tipping it out the chili absolutely caked let me just massage it out because that's clearly going to be the way gently so um i'm seeing the tiniest amount of rot imaginable it's all actually really good root i'm quite pleased with that only a little bit of rot, but let's look through it in a sec. So, there we go. Oh, you know what I should have got? Should have got blue roll. There we go. Much nicer. Much, much nicer. Okay. So, let's have a little look at her. I don't know what kind of chatting you guys would even want today. It's not really like a repot with me in questions, because as you probably know, if you follow my Instagram, I haven't really put any questions out there. So, I guess I'll just chat. I'll just chat while I do this. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but the root system on this is actually quite decent. There is very, very, very minimal rot, and even then... <sighs> I can't even cut it off because it's so early stages. I don't really know what to do. God, this is so minimal. But yeah, I, I did have a good time at the show, though it was very tiring. Um, I'm at... This won't mean anything to anybody at all. But very soon I'm at Four Oaks Trade Show. Uh, is that in Cheshire? Is it Cheshire? Cheshire Oaks? Four Oaks? I don't know. But I'm at another trade show. But as I say, that is for trade. It's not for the public as such. So I'm going to be doing that. Oh, that one fell off. Then after that, I believe I'm at a show in Harrogate this month. So if you haven't seen me and you want to, I will be at the Harrogate show. I do believe. So you may see me there. Now I've got a problem here. I've got a big problem. My problem is this tiny part parts of the root that have rotted but it's kind of only the side of it 
It's not the full route and I don't know what to do. I think I'm actually going to take the chance. I'm going to take the chance. I have a special product that you don't know about that I am testing that I'm going to try out on this and see if it actually helps. I'm going to use some number three on it anyway. I don't have some like next to me now, but note system number three, if you missed my launch video, it's kind of like, I call it like a rehab tonic, but it's very good for like cuttings, growing roots. It's basically like a jet pack for your root system. So it'll make your root system really big and full very, very quickly. I have to say it's very, very quick. Um, but I rant on about that all the time. What we got here, honestly, there's not a lot. I'm being like nitpicky at this point. But yeah, anyway, I had a really good time at the shows. I met some of you. I met some of you. You're all so lovely, honestly. So lovely. Talked to a few of you. Um, just had a great time. Just very, very tired. Very tired indeed. What is this? Ooh, um, there's some roots here that are... They're, they're fine, but they're a little bit questionable. Like that's definitely, yeah, we're going to get rid of that. Because I know I'm potting this to take home, I'm probably going to be a bit more aggressive with the root than perhaps what I would be here. Because I know I've, I've touched on this in the past, but here, if something sort of goes wrong, I can just whop it back out of the pot and check it really quick. I'm sure you can relate, guys, but when you have plants at home and they're potted up nicely, you, you're not going to do that, you know, as often as maybe what you should or could. So I'm just making sure that it's nice before I do that. So we're just checking it. But generally, I'm quite happy with this. There's, there's some patches of root, but like, you'll not be able to see it. There's a patch here. I just don't know what to do about it, you know. I'm probably going to leave it. Put some of my special stuff on it and see if it uh, gets rid of it. Shh, saying nothing, saying nothing else, guys. So get rid of that. Super easy repot for you today, if you couldn't tell. But I've waited so long for this plant. I just, I don't know. I needed to do like a, a nice shot of it in Decker in a pink pot. And I've just put that on my Instagram. So it's kind of like now i've done that i can probably do the repotting so i'm very very happy about this is that screwed as well oh no no that wasn't that wasn't screwed right it annoys me because i could probably book cut this but i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna fuck with this later down the line i think i might because there's, there's quite a big a big chunk here but i don't want to i just don't do anything to upset this plant guys i love it so much right we've got little bits just little bit like this and i mean little bits and i'm being pedantic really Really, I should have had like a bucket to wash this in. I quite like to do that. But when I pot it up, obviously I'll do it off camera, but I'll probably just rinse it more, um, rinse it right through and see if I can get some of the crap off it because I'm using new pond that is mine. Um, by new, I mean like it's not been used yet. So as with any pond, there is a bit of dust that comes off. So I will just sort that out at the sink kind of thing and take care of it that way. Right, give it a shake because I love giving it a shake because you never know what drops off when you do that. I'd rather it dropped off here, guys, on the mat than drop off inside my plant pot and then start rotting. So that's quite nice. I'm quite happy with that, to be honest. Quite happy indeed. Right. Oh my God. No. Right. The pot. Give me one moment. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Right. This is not very dignified. Okay. This is used. It's fine. It'll get rinsed. This is what I'm talking about. This is what it's going in. This is quite a nice size up, actually. It's probably perfect for this plant. Perfect. There's probably about an inch clearance all the way around for this, so I'm quite happy. Don't need that yet. Pointless. I'll put that there. Hold on for one second. I'd like to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. If you're looking to create and manage your own website online, then Squarespace might be exactly what you're looking for. I've been using Squarespace for literally like three years now. My shop, the Right Plant Shop, uses Squarespace. And also my brand new plant care brand, Nurture System, also uses Squarespace. But recently, guys, Squarespace just got even more slick. They now feature something called Squarespace Blueprint, which takes you through an even more extensive customization process, allowing you to quickly personalize and launch your website. I can choose the sections I want on each page. I can choose which pages I'd like to include on my website, as well as color scheme and fonts. You can even choose the conversation style that the AI of your website uses. I know. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for yourself or perhaps you're setting up a webshop like mine, head to squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Allen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you very much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and back to it. What I'm going to do first, get some of that out of the bottom. I'm going to put a little bit of my pond in the bottom. My pond is this one. This is what I'm using today. This is Nurture System number eight, Nurture Pond. And I don't have any uh, other pond here to show you, but I've shown you it in the past. It is basically a coarser grade pond than that brand. 
<laughs> you got to be really careful when you say stuff, guys. I know I've mentioned the brand in the past, but it's a bit different now that there's a product out, if you know what I mean. So I need to just be careful. So sorry for the smoke and mirrors, but that's basically, hopefully you can see there. That's basically what it looks like. It is the same thing sort of as the leading brand of Pond. It's just a thicker grade and slightly different ratio, um, a ratio that I prefer more for things like aroids, because as I've said a million times, the other finer grade of Pond that you can get does keep roots, depending on the plant, don't get me wrong, keeps it a little bit too mushy. Um, and it's funny because I think, did I get a comment on the, was it on the launch video? It was somewhere, somebody did say, yeah, I, I do agree it does that. So it depends what you prefer, do not get me wrong. But this is why I created it, because for aroids, I just need something a bit meatier. When you have a chunky mix, it's the same thing, guys, as a chunky soil mix. The chunkier it is, the better your root system's gonna be. One, it gets more oxygen. Two, the roots have to adapt to a coarser mix, and they tend to grow thicker and more, I wanna say like tuberous compared to being like fibrous, if that makes sense. It does genuinely improve the the robustness, you would say, of the roots. So I like that. So we're gonna pop that. Now it's grown a certain way, but I think the way that homolamina grow, it's not like they go like left and right, left and right. They grow a bit more, there'll be a word for this, apologies, but it is more of like a, a nest type growth pattern. So it grows a lot like say a thormatophyllum where it's like a firework. So it's not just left, right, left, right. So it doesn't really matter what like orientation I pop this in. So it's kind of up to me because this probably will move. But I quite think, um, you won't see this because I'm facing it towards me, but I'm maybe thinking here, maybe thinking here, I'll move the root system out a bit. Oh, I should have scooped this. I should have scooped more. I should have put more. I'm gonna put this in like such. Sorry, I keep trying not to cover my microphone with my hair, but it happens, guys, it happens. So I'll just lay that in there. And I'm not going to put pawn all the way to the top. Why? Because we're gonna put some really pretty top dressing in it. So let me just give that a mix. There we go. Get some more of that beautiful pawn in there. Beautiful, beautiful pawn. I'm going to put just enough to cover it because I do want some gap. I like some gap anyway. I used to fill when I used to use, well, when I've always used pawn. I tended a lot of the time. I don't know why I did it, but I put substrate like right up to the top of the pot. And that's actually quite annoying. I don't know why I was ever doing that. Not sure. I mean, it can technically get more out of your plant pots because technically you're giving them a little bit of space beneath because you can pop them a bit higher. But I have i don't really like doing it anymore, basically. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it as very little more than what's in now. Is I quite like that? Oh, I don't have my little horse hoof brush to brush all the pond pebbles out of these vents, guys. And the reason that I don't have that is because we had, if you met me at the show, you'll know what I mean. We had like this big black wooden hand-built stand for all the products and stuff. And when it got moved in the van, it got transported, it chipped here and there. So I had to have a little paintbrush on hand to touch it up and I didn't have anything. So I had to grab the hoof brush. So unfortunately, the hoof brush is no more. So I will leave it like that. I'm gonna get this white pot back because it probably is time for said, said thing. I should have just tied this back, shouldn't I? It's really quite annoying. Apologies, guys. A lot of it's because it's freshly washed. So it's sort of p -p 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 flapping around. Sorry, I know, I know there's a few people out there that genuinely, which is ridiculous. They get irritated when I like touch my hair or something like that. It's like, it's, it's hair, it's hair. It's attached to my head. Anyway. Right, got that. So I've left, if you're gonna do this yourself uh, with, with anything for any reason, I've probably left not quite an inch. I could have left an inch, but I think you probably can't see, but these there's some roots around the base here that are a bit more exposed, so I didn't wanna do too much of a low pot, but the, the decor is gonna help that. Now, this would have been in a bag. The only reason it is not in a bag is because I took it out to photograph this yesterday in this. So there's no other reason, but this is what it actually is. It is pretty heavy. It is pretty heavy. It is on Amazon. You can buy it through the Nurture System website. It's probably easier to get it through Amazon in all honesty, because the shipping for this is not the best because it's really, really heavy. It's not like Pon, not like Pon at all. This is at least, oh, I don't know. Could be nearly three kilograms out. Is it two, two or three kilograms? It's heavy guys, it's heavy. It's one of the reasons why for this specifically, I'm probably not gonna ever sell it in bigger bags. Plus, personally, I believe people are probably going to use this more as a top dressing. So fair enough. This bag will actually go a long way. Whereas the pawn, because I know people have been asking about this actually. Sorry, let me put that back. People have been asking about the pawn and 
doing it in bigger bags. So it's in a bag this size, one, because we knew we were going to the trade shows and we knew that nobody was going to walk around with, say, for example, a six litre bag or a 10 litre bag or whatever. It wasn't going to happen. I also understand and appreciate that you probably want to try the brand because you might not like it, you might not want it, all the rest. So the only way to do that is to put it out into these. Now, this says two litres on the bag. It's actually got two and a half litres in it. It is what it is, okay? It was a misprint. But yeah, so you can only buy them in this size. Obviously, this will more than do plants like this and larger, I think. I think it'll do the size up from this quite easily. So if you want to try it, it's on Amazon and it is also on the Nurture System website. But as everybody knows, Amazon is faster. Yes, it can be more expensive. And I think did someone ask me about the Amazon prices versus the website prices. Basically, Amazon take, oh my God, they take so much money off your sale. Um, it's not even off your profit either, it's off the full thing. Do they take 50% or close to it? They take off a lot. So to compensate for that, we have had to put the prices up a little bit more on things like Amazon compared to, for example, the shop. But that is why there's no weirdness there. It's genuinely because Amazon absolutely kick you up the bum. They kick you up the bum. Right, anyway, so I'm gonna use a little bit of Nurture System number seven. And this is in pink. There is a rogue ball of liquor in this, how rude. It's in pink. I don't have the other colors with me. Well, I do, that's a lie, they're over there in bags. But we have pink, sage green, blue, multicolored, and black. I'll flash a quick picture up on the screen because very sexy if you missed the launch video. But yeah, we're now gonna use a bit of pink. Because why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? So I'm just going to literally... I would actually scoop this out, but I'm trying not to be noisy, by the way. I'm actually literally just going to lay this on top, and it's going to look so cute. So if you don't want to plant in this, then you can use it as top dressing, and obviously you can just reuse it. And I like using this as top dressing more. One, because I quite like the pot, it keeps the pot a little bit lighter. But two, if I get bored of the top dressing, I can just change it and put it back in the bag and switch it out. So it's really, really nice for that. So let's pop a little bit more in there. Rotate it round. Easiest thing in the world, guys. Love this. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. <gasps> this is so pretty. Oh, a tiny bit more in. I should have potted this a little bit lower, but here we are. I don't want to put any more in. I could, but I don't want it to completely overflow and annoy me. But I think that looks really sexy. And I've hardly taken, by the way, anything. And that's not even a full bag in there. That's just some of a bag. I've taken a couple of handfuls, a couple of teeny, teeny handfuls, and it's covered the top. So really, really good. Love that. I'll not be able to tip it to show you, so I will try and bring it to you because this looks absolutely stunning. Let me just bring it. Again, honestly, a pink pot would really sort this out. If you know if El Hole do a pink pot, maybe I might break tradition and give it a pink pot because this would look really cute. And also, if you're not doing it in self-watering, arguably, sorry, I'm cutting my own head off. Arguably, it would look a little bit better because you wouldn't get this gap here. So it depends what you're growing in. But you know, guys, I am an advocate for self-watering pots because we all want loads of plants, but nobody's got the time. So if I can tip that up for you so you can actually see it up close. Is it going to focus? No, it's focusing on the background. Come on. There we go. Look at that. How cute. I'll show you the plant up close because this is a very beautiful plant. So I'll have to kind of like do the splits a little bit <laughs> to get in the frame. How gorgeous is this plant? Look at this new leaf, by the way. How good is this? I'm so pleased with this because if I take you on a quick journey through this plant, it's given me, it's given me stuff. It gave me like little bits of variegation here. Then it gave me a nice half moon that's a little bit melty that one then it's given me again a little patch not ideal then it's gone and given me more then it freaked me out guys and it gave me basically nothing and i was very upset about it then what did it give me could be it's one of these two could be this really nice half moon then it's given me a patch again mm. but now oh and then it gave me another half moon to be fair and then it's given me this one and i say this all the time you guys must be sick of it but when it comes to variegation listen listen half moons ain't all that my next video i'm going to be repotting another monstera mint and that's a little bit half moony and i'll be talking about this again so i'll not spend too long on this but sometimes when you have this it's better because it guarantees a better spread across the plant so if you're buying a variegated specimen of literally anything be careful be careful what you get. Half moons are great. 
functionally, they're, honestly, they're a bit of a gamble. They're a bit of a gamble. I think most of us know that by now, but just in case you didn't. But anyway, that's that's it. That How cute is that? So I'm not going to feed it right now. Ugh, stop doing the splits. I'm going to do that off camera because I have a very ugly green watering can down there with nurture system number one in it, which I'm sure everybody knows by now is my feed. Hang on, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do something gross and I'm going to put the rot <laughs> down here because I need this clean-ish for my next video. So I'll just pop that there. But how nice does this look? Oh my God, it's so good. I'm pretty confident about it. I think it was a really nice size up. It wasn't too much, it wasn't too little. There is a leaf on the way. I don't like to repot things while a leaf is on the way. But if I put a little bit of number three in, the rapid recovery, I suspect the chances of keeping that leaf are extremely high because it's very good at stuff like that. So I'll be feeding off camera. And I think I might leave it here for, I could take it today or I could leave it for a week or so. I will decide later at the end of the working day what I'm doing, but I cannot wait to get that to my house cause it's so pretty. And I hope, I hope it still grows nice because it's grown here with loads of lights on it. So it's grown, you know, nice and bushy, like Netherlands style, nursery style. But obviously when it comes to my house, the light comes from a different angle. So it might not look as sexy as this. So I will see where I want to put it. It's, it's a vibe for sure, but I, I will find somewhere. It might end up all facing forward, which I don't mind and it does take better pictures that way, but we'll see. It's one of these things you can't control. Wouldn't you just love to have houseplants in a room where all the light is just equal and global? Oh my God, like giant soft boxes. Oh, imagine, imagine how your plants would look, honestly. I don't know how you guys deal with plants growing in like a certain shape or do you just not move them and just commit? Because I do think when plants grow into a spot, they look fantastic. But if you have to move them for any reason and then, you know, they're not doing so well or you repot, them they just look terrible i don't know maybe it's just me anyway enough talking that was me potting this cute little boy up let me know about the pink pot might change it i think it could be a vibe as long as the pink kind of matches this is a very dusty baby pink so i wouldn't put it in a hot pink pot but anyway thank you very much for watching this video guys links to anything are down below and i will see you in the next video where you can't see it i'm going to repot this guy which is another mint another mint i have one more mint to go after this that i want to repot but he's I'll cover it in the next video, but he's a little bit too very good. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, guys, and I will see you a little bit earlier than next week, actually. I might be seeing you Tuesday. Bye, guys.